Breeders' Cup action continues, and the best way to play, play through Naira Bets. If you're not a member, head on over to NairaBets.com. Use the promo code CUP25, free $25 Breeders' Cup play as well. It's a $200 deposit match. The Breeders' Cup Juvenile at a mile and a 16th out of Del Mar. And if there is a stranger lurking in here, I didn't find him. I think Jack Christopher is the horse to beat. Jack Christopher, one of the many heavy favorites in the line, and you're not getting 9-5 to five on this guy. That is a preposterous morning line. Only a California morning line maker would suggest that he would be 9-5, to five, and Corniche breaking from post 12 would be 5-2. to two. That is an inaccurate line. <laughs> Jack Christopher should be and will be closer to even money in this race. He was extremely impressive in the champagne. Frankly, I think the horse who finished second behind him was the number 10 command performance. He also ran very well. Let's go to Belmont Park in early October and look at Jack Christopher. Jack Christopher drew the rail and he's going to go in here. We'll see how quickly any or all of the Bafferts go and make him run. Will he outrun him early? Well, he showed in this race that he could take back and he's broken very sharply in both of his races. Jose Ortiz had no problem rating him back letting Gennite go and taking over. This was a very, very impressive and fast race. Yes, he has to go next 16th of a mile. He has to do it around two turns. He's a son of Munnings. I, I get it. I can understand why some have some concern, but there is no doubt about his talent. I think people who are comparing him to Jackie's Warrior are being silly. First of all, it's unlikely you'll see as fast a pace as Jackie's Warrior felt last year. And frankly, if if, if Jack Christopher runs as well as Jackie's Warrior did in finishing fourth in last year's Breeders' Cup Juvenile, I think he'll win. If the pace gets hot, if he doesn't handle the distance, why isn't command performance the other likeliest horse? He's the best closer. He ran well in both the starts, should have broken his maiden first time out, and like good magic, he's going to look to win the Breeders' Cup Juvenile as a maiden. They are my top two choices. We'll see what we get from Corniche, and Corniche was extremely impressive running a big 98 buyer first time out for Bob Baffert. Did not come back in the American Pharaoh and come close to that number. He ran an 85 buyer in that race, but he did get it done fairly easily. I mean, he was pretty hard ridden to get it done. He didn't draw well from post 12, and he's not as fast as Jack Christopher. So how is this going to lay out? He's going to gun after Jack Christopher. He's going to blow that one away early, and he's just going to blow the competition away. Okay, I guess. But based on this performance, that's not going to happen. This race does not compare to his debut, and it doesn't compare from a speed figure standpoint to the effort that we saw from Jack Christopher. I'm not discounting him. You have to respect these Bob Baffert two-year-olds. Very, very good. Great record over time. I just don't think he's as good as the favorite in here. I couldn't really come up with too many horses to beat him. Maybe Bob Baffert's Barroso run well. He did run well to break his maiden last time out. But his other two races aren't that good. And he comes back just 21 days after a maiden win. I went through the race, and I couldn't find too much here. Unless you want to try to reawaken Pinehurst, we haven't seen since Labor Day at Del Mar, and here he is winning the Del Mar Futurity, and he was 4-1 to one in this race after breaking his maiden with an 86 buyer first time out. He came back and won, much like Corniche, though, he took a step back. Going from 5 furlongs to 7 furlongs, ran a 79 buyer. So now we're supposed to believe we haven't seen him in two months, he's somehow gotten faster, and he appears to be a horse that ran a slower race in victory, stretching out a couple of furlongs. Now he's going to go 3 16s more and going to get faster? Well, who knows? Maybe he will get faster, but I want to see it to believe it. Nothing clever for me in this Breeders' Cup Juvenile. I like Jack Christopher to give trainer Chad Brown his second win in this race, having won it a few years ago with good magic. I think his main rival is the number 10, Command Performance. We can take a look at those picks. One Jack Christopher, 10 Command Performance, 12 Corniche third, and the eight Barossa fourth. If there's a clever horse lurking in the wings, I couldn't find him. Breeders' Cup Juvenile coming up at Del Mar. Best way to play it? Play through Naira Bets. Head on over. If you're not a member, use the promo code CUP25 at NairaBets.com. We'll give you a free $25 Breeders' Cup play as well as matching $200 of your initial deposit.